Hey everyone, um, this is my first video I've ever uploaded. Um, my name is Megan and um, I just feel the need to give my opinion on this because I'm getting so frustrated. So I am involved in the true crime community, not publicly like with my own channel, but I consume a lot of the content. So um, with this Kylie Rodney case that's been going on, Ryan Upchurch, I know we've all seen what's been going on there. I knew who he was before this was going on. I knew he was like a singer. I personally don't like country music at all. Um, I've listened to a couple of his songs. Not my style at all, not even close. Um, when the Kylie Rodney situation was going on and she was first missing, um, I ran across one of his videos and I was like, that's weird. I didn't know he had anything to do with true crime, but I went ahead and watched it like with an open mind. And initially I was like, you know, he's funny and I feel like it makes sense what he's saying. It was bizarre how that guy called in, that Ronnie guy. Um, but as his theory started to shift into Ikmel having something to do with it, with a giant conspiracy, I started to have kind of an issue with what he was saying, mostly because it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so fast forward. Now he has come out and said that he just thinks the entire thing never happened. Um, and it's obvious it's because of his ego. And although the entire time he was uploading videos about this situation and arguing with people about how he would never stop trying trying to find out what happened to her because of her poor mother crying on TV and how horrific it was that that little girl was missing. And now because his theories aren't really making any sense, now he's just discrediting the entire situation of being real. And, you know, I do find it to be similar to Alex Jones with the Sandy Hook situation. I don't understand. Like, I genuinely don't understand. It, listen. If you want to have theories and talk about cases and things that are going on within, you know, your friend group, with your partner, with your mom, I don't, it doesn't, that's fine. Where it starts to become an issue though, is when you have a massive online platform like Alex Jones does and like Ryan Upchurch does, not on the same scale, but still a very large platform um, and you start to spew this to a bunch of people that are, you know, just waiting to latch on to any conspiracy theory they can, which then results into them harassing the families or just, I mean, just imagine you losing a child. It doesn't matter if it's an elementary aged child that was gunned down in a school or if it's your 16 year old little girl who was found in a lake after a party. The pain that you're going through and then to have some cocky ass internet country singer go online and claim that your pain and your trauma and what you're going through is all a scam. Can you imagine what that would feel like? It's not that and it's not that you can't have an opinion. It's that when you have a platform that size you can't have an opinion like that and just plaster it all over for all of these, you know, fans and people that will, you know, grab onto it and run with it. I just think it's super irresponsible and it's gross, you know, as somebody who has been through a tragedy before, um, you know, with a loved one who has died. Um, I just can't imagine, I cannot imagine with what my family and I had gone through with that situation. And then on top of it, having this entire group of people online claiming that it's all fake. I just think it's gross. And when someone has to constantly talk about how smart they are, they're not usually that smart. Like if you have to say the thing all the time, it's not the thing. If you have to say the thing, it's not the thing. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you next time.